All right, it is 1.30 a.m. on Christmas morning, and I've got everything complete. So here's the, the inside. I uh, went ahead and um, went with a 2,000 milliamp battery pack, so there's going to be no problems whatsoever with this thing running out of juice anytime soon. might even last like half a year. I don't have final figures um, for how long this thing is going to run. Uh, with the 2000 milliamp pack, but uh, I'm going to get that a little bit later on. I didn't have time to finish the woodworking and the programming before I flew home for, for the holidays, so so don't have uh, don't have that fi final figure, but I think it's going to be a long, long time. But anyways, this is the inside of it, and um, I just used hot glue to, to secure the uh, the main board. It's pretty, pretty challenging to get the front of the seven second display to line up well with uh, the front of the wooden box and then also get a good I think you can see in here um, uh, the micro USB lined up really well in that hole uh, that I had to, to notch out use, use a Forstner bit and a chisel and a lot of time and patience to get that set up when I was when I was doing all that it was just really really tricky to get it so everything would line up and I just ended up holding everything just right and dabbing in some hot glue and uh, I think um, you know an improvement would be to you know use these screw holes that I put in there and get some standoffs and get the standoffs to be the exact right height so that they lift the, the seven segment display or lift the board off this piece of wood here so the seven segment display is, is in line appropriately but that was all stuff that was going to take a lot of fiddling around and I just did not have a whole lot of time to to get this thing uh, complete before I had to leave so I'm hoping the all this hot glue will uh, hold up and keep it into place but they won't have to be recharging it very often because I just went ahead and put a really really big battery pack in it so here is the unit all together and um, I've got the, the battery charging LED I mounted it here rather than uh, next to the connector where I have it have the connections on the circuit board. Uh, the hole here just interfered with that. I didn't account for how you know the wood and, and having to you know, notch that out. And um, it also wasn't going to be super visible with the connector plug in here. The LED would be kind of uh, you know it was going to be behind it and and down a little bit. So pretty much totally blocked by the connector here. So I just put it in the front there. So a little little lesson learned. The um, you know the segment segment display. I was able to you know use um, a chisel and knock out this hole. It wasn't all that bad and turned out you know okay. I do have a little bit of a gap on the the right edge of it. You might not be able to see it with this light, but there's a little bit of a gap there. But it's not it's not super bad. But I'm pretty pretty pleased with it. The big thing that I don't um, I'm kind of worried about is um, it's not as loud as the original kitchen timer was because it's running at 3.3 volts and there's only one of the buzzers rather than two and uh, when I when I was testing this outside the case it sounded you know really really loud and you know it was going to be okay but it, the case does muffle it quite a bit and this hole uh, just isn't isn't enough to really um, make it as loud as it was when it's not in the case so I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay but that might be that might be a big fail on this it's just not loud enough the uh, the other thing that uh, I didn't get to finish was getting the wireless key fob part that I wanted to do I'm gonna continue working on this project you know um, and make make I've got you know two more circuit boards and um, so I'm gonna continue working on that project and, and get the wireless key fob circuit board made and uh, figure out how to do the connections on the back and everything like that but I was just running out of time and so I just wanted to get at least this together for uh, for Christmas and I think the the box that is going to have the wireless key fob on the back won't have this this uh, notch here and instead it will just go straight back to provide more room for the little little fob but uh, besides that everything else is working okay uh, units asleep right now, uh, drawing just uh, six microamps, and uh, right when it wakes up, it checks the battery voltage, and uh, if it's too low, then it will just show an alert for a few seconds, and then it will go to this timer display. So, it, 
so uh, it was confusing for my mom to have to like click the knob on the, her current kitchen timer to accept the fact that the battery is low to acknowledge it so now I just have it time out um, so it works just like it did before with the for the uh, kitchen timer um, for this guy here you just set the minutes um, you can do a quick click and do a 15 minute increment so you can quickly set an hour and 30 minutes for example um, when it's showing um, over an hour then it just has a display like that but if I if I go and put it below an hour so I set it for 57 minutes um, I'll go ahead and move this over the 57 over to this side and just show the seconds I've got an you know this enormous battery pack in here so I'm not worried about the additional power draw of lighting, lighting up more segments so just go ahead and use the full displays capability so I think that'll be a, a nice little improvement um, so that's the quick click being able to, to increment between 15 minutes and going back to one minute and then if you do a long click that takes you into the menu structure and I put um, uh, the sound menu um, be the first item and the next one over is the light menu and then the duration of the alarm and then finally the battery voltage so it's currently 4.2 volts so um, the duration the, the light color it's just the default color for the light here and then the um, the sound just you pick, pick which music is playing um, you just do a quick click to uh, preview the sound and I've got the light changing color on each note so that's kind of cool and you can you can go and pick different things and it'll just give you a preview I've got some Christmas carols in uh, so I'll just leave that one and then the light uh, you know just the default light color so you can just set that and uh, to get out of this menu structure, you just do that long click again, and it'll take you right back to the timer. The timer will quit counting when you go into that menu, so um, so it just kind of pauses things. But there it is. That is the, uh, the finished product. I hope my mom likes it, and I will uh, get this guy wrapped up, and we will go and open it up in a little while. Merry Christmas. Wow. It's like It's that. mom's timer. Nice. And you got me a green cord. Oh and look it works. Yeah, I got you a green cord because you like green. Yeah. Oh David, that is absolutely beautiful. Alright, well the new timer was a big hit. I think my mom really, really liked the box. And um uh, uh, hopefully she'll like the little usability improvements that I made to it while I continue working on the uh, wireless key fob part. Uh, I've got, uh, this is my prototype wooden box that I made. I made, I was making um, two boxes at the same time and every, all the steps that I was doing I did on uh, this first and then I did it a lot better on the other one. And this box has some problems with it like this bevel here got too low and uh, the the back case uh, back piece of wood here was just too thin. It, it actually even cracked too while I was gone. You can see that it uh, it just got way too thin, and there's too much stresses there, and it cracked. So uh, yeah, so I got this to remind me of uh, <laughs> what it looks like at least. The, uh, the final uh, power draw figures too are in, and uh, I've got th so three of the digits are showing right now, and it uh, you know it's pretty low. Um, if all four digits are showing, it'll be about 16 milliamps, but right now it's uh, a little bit lower. Just It all depends on how many digits are being shown. And so with that really big battery pack, uh, that 2,000 milliamp pack, uh, according to this website here, it's going to last for 310 days. <laughs> so it's... Uh, no problems there. I was planning on just using a single cell. You know, it was a 1,000 milliamp cell. And so that would have been just fine. But I put two in there, and it's definitely overkill. You know, I've actually, I've got some 750 
Yellow ant packs? I wonder how long that would be. That's probably going to be over 100 days. Oh yeah, that's 116 days, so even a 750 would have... That would be just fine. Especially since it's so easy to recharge this. And so, um... A lot of the box was made, you know, the size of it was based upon this battery. With a 750 milliamp battery, it would be quite a bit smaller. So, yeah, something to think about. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna um, continue continue working on the key fob part next. And um, oh yeah, this the second circuit board, I, you know, obviously got it all soldered together. And this thing went together super quick. I had uh, the other one as a reference. And I was, you know, so I was able to know exactly where to put all the resistors and capacitors without looking everything up. And it went together probably in under 20 minutes, um, maybe 15 minutes or so. So that was just incredible. The, uh, being able to get this thing together that quickly is just, just great. I remember my first one, you know, I spent, you know, 12 hours, I think, uh, just on the main circuit board part, and then another couple hours on the, all the, the wiring since, you know, I had never done any kind of little tiny hand soldering like this before. So, uh, yeah, to get it <laughs> that that low, it was just just fantastic. I still had some, I, I used about half the amount of soldering, about half the amount of solder that I did on the first one. And I still had a, a few bridges to overcome, but it was just so quick, so easy, now that I've done it once. And um, it just turned out great. I love I love doing this hot air reflow soldering. The um, the challenge still for me is is figuring out how to mount mount the circuit board in here and get this flush, get the get the micro USB connector all lined up, and then secure this well. So I'm still thinking on that how to do that better. And after having done this box, I know it's going to be a real challenge to build the key fob box because it's going to be even more precise and even, you know, thinner cuts of wood. You know, all the wood actually will be probably as thick as this. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, quite a build challenge for the tools that I've got. So, but it'll be good. It'll be fun to figure out how to do all that. The, uh, the one big thing with this that I'm just kind of disappointed in is... The, um, the usage of this 3.3 volt regulator right there to run everything, all because the radio module can't accept more than 3.6 volts on its VCC pin. All those other pins are, are good up to, you know, 5 volts or, you know, whatever you're, you're running your uh, microcontroller on. I think they're good up to like, I forget, but it is, it is um, over 5 volts. And so they, they, you know, I could run this entire circuit just off the lithium polymer battery voltage, which, you know, goes up to 4.2 volts. And everything would be fine except for the radio module. And instead, I'm, you know, running everything off that 3.3 volt regulator. And I get, you know, a lower, lower voltage to that buzzer because of that. And, you know, have all the complication of having to to have this uh, P-channel MOSFET down here and all the resistors to make it so I can flip that on and off with a pen, all because of that radio module. So I really, I'm sure there's some better way to, to do all this. I would love to have everything running off of the, whatever lithium polymer battery voltage is on its own. The buzzer would be louder and actually that would cut the current consumption even more because when this thing is asleep, it's drawing six microamps and five of the microamps are from that voltage regulator and it just doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be in there it could just not not be part of it and just run everything right off the battery and just switch on and off uh, the VCC pin to that radio module so that's something that for future projects I need to uh, I'd like to improve but anyways uh, I'm gonna get back to work on this guy uh, working on the key fob